Hello world, Watsonator here, and today I am talking about Gunfire Reborn. Gunfire Reborn is a new co-op FPS roguelite RPG developed for PC from the Hong Kong-based Duoyi Interactive Entertainment Limited. It recently hit the Steam store in early access for $12 just over a week ago and already seems to be gaining quite a following. I have personally played it a good bit over the last week, both solo and multiplayer, and will quickly share some of my thoughts for those considering a purchase. This isn't really the type of game to have spoilers, but I will refrain from showing any footage of the final boss without warning you beforehand. First off, if you are at all familiar with other roguelite loot-based shooters, such as Risk of Rain 2, Ziggurat, or Immortal Redneck, then the gameplay formula of Gunfire Reborn will be familiar to you. You pick a class, traverse levels, destroy baddies with guns and abilities, fight a boss at the end of each stage, collect random loot, and level up while learning new skills. You start from scratch every time you die, however, there is a personalized passive talent tree that sticks with you throughout all of your playthroughs that you level up at the end of each run. This is nice because it will contribute to you slowly getting stronger and stronger with each consecutive run. This is sort of similar to how the Rogue Legacy talent system works for those of you who have played that. The animation style and gun types and variety reminds me of the Borderlands series, while the battle arenas within each stage where you fight enemies reminds me a lot of Doom. You basically clear out an area, loot everything, then go to the next area, and it will be blocked off until you kill all of the enemies within that zone, and repeat until you reach the boss. Along the way you will find merchants and gun upgraders. Every character has a base pistol and the space to hold two more weapons, out of 36 total, that you will find as you progress. They also each have their own unique grenade and special ability. Furthermore, the characters all have a different skill tree from one another in addition to the passive talent tree that I mentioned earlier. Combine this with all of the random game-changing scrolls that you will also find and the varying weapon texts and you are left with an endless number of character builds and countless replayability. Currently, there are only two characters to choose from and one of them is only unlocked after playing the game for a few hours. In addition to this, there is currently only three levels, though each of these levels is then divided up into four or five subsections, sort of similar to how something like the Binding of Isaac functions. It is very early access still, and I would imagine this is going to be greatly expanded upon. Some of the translations are pretty awful and actually leave me confused as to how a couple of the upgrades function exactly. Though, once again, this is something that I'm sure will be fixed given time. Most importantly though, the game feels very good. Shooting enemies and trying to snipe their weak points is rewarding and has a clean and crisp feel to it. Good aim pays off, and the hitboxes seem very well constructed. I also find myself theory crafting different build types even when I am not playing it. The formula and foundation is extremely solid for this game, and if the developers continue to update it and fill it with content, this game could be a massive success. If you are a fan of roguelikes or roguelites, or have a group of friends looking for something to play, and you can look past some of the silly translations and a few minor glitches, and don't mind waiting a bit for some additional content, I highly recommend Gunfire Reborn. For just $11.99 USD, it is sure to bring you a ton of value. For more on Gunfire Reborn, check me out at twitch.tv slash watsonator.